Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Lou, and this is Metal Lens Reviews. What's up? So, uh, this is your first time here. Check out my channel. You like what you see? Thank you. Uh, please do me a favor of like, comment, subscribe. Really helps me grow the channel and provide you guys with more content. Alright, so what are we doing here? Um, we're going to be reacting to Tattoo. That's right. Um, going to be honest, this is another one of those instances where uh, I know of them. I heard maybe a song, vaguely remember it. it wasn't this. Um, this was a random pick. I, once again, typed in Tattoo, popular songs. This is one of them. Um, I, you know, I, like I said, I, I'm a child of the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, so these groups started popping up. And I remember, ta I remember Tattoo, it was at a very famous poster. I think it was like them, like together, like on a bed or kissing or whatever. I don't know. And I know back then it was like kind of like taboo or controversial. Um, the Russian, I believe, they got big in Russia first, and then kind of you know broke into the uh, the American audience. And uh, you know, I've been doing great ever since. I don't know if they're still together. I didn't look that deep into it, um, but I imagine you know they have gained a huge fan base over the time. So. You know, it's easy to, you know, think that they're probably still going strong. Uh, let me know. Uh, what's their uh, status as of now? Um, like I said, I vaguely remember the details of what they sound like, to be honest with you. Um, I was just on a different path back then. Obviously, as I got older, I was very more in tune with other uh, music, you know, especially now. Um, kind of comes with a job, especially when you're reacting to different... Um, music and genres, um, it's, it's a good experience, I think, and, uh, kind of opens up your mind a little bit more. Now, them, I would definitely, you know, classify as pop. I'm pretty sure that's appropriate. Um, I know labels are funny nowadays, um, but I think that, you know, would be, uh, appropriate saying they're pop or pop-ish. I don't know. But, um, either way, I'm, I'm curious, you know, it's like a, part of my uh, childhood I missed, you know, obviously, because I was a, you know, huge, I still am a huge metal head, but, you know, grown to like other musical genres, and, um, you know, span my horizons, pretty much. So, uh, here I am, uh, gonna give Tattoo a listen. Uh, the song's called All the Things She Said, and all I know is that it's, oh, it was pretty popular, and I imagine when this is on, Tattoo fans probably rejoice, and like, yeah. This is one of their popular songs, because that's all I'm going on. I'm going to this completely blind, so um, this should be an experience. All right, well, let me stop yapping. I'll cue the video up, and we're going to react to this together. Okay, guys, this is Tattoo with all the things she said. definitely see why this would probably uh you know tick off uh the you know older people of this generation you know everything was taboo 
man, you got to see how they try to bury uh, rock music, you know, you know, especially when controversial school shootings such as Columbine, a lot of people went after Marilyn Manson, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, what have you. Some communities went after rap music, saying it was a bad influence. Um, and this, obviously, being the subject matter it is, was a wild time to live in during this era. And it's kind of repeating a little bit, but I think it's more of society being controversial as opposed to music, you know. Actually, no, I'm wrong. There's a few country and rap artists today that are kind of doing this, but in a different way. It's uh, what I like to call healthy protesting uh, when it comes to music. Music should be about fun, you know, getting a lot. If you got a message to say, that's a good, at, you know, outlet, you know, media, music, you know. If something's really bothering you, we get it off your chest. If you can't talk about it, put it in a song. That's what I say. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think they this, this duo, they're harmonizing off each other. They're very good. They look super young. Um, like I said, I don't look at the ages. I don't really deep dive into this. I just kind of, this was a random pick. Of a group, you know, I haven't listened to in my youth when I should have listened to them. Listen to them now, you know. Not saying I'm old as dirt. I'm just saying, um, you know, that's that part of me I kind of push to the side, you know. You know, like the only pop music that was playing that's you know relatively familiar and recognizable was like you know Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, you know. But I, I kind of know them because I dated people that listened to them, you know. But, and I guess to an extent, you know, Tattoo and um, Bjork, you know, but like I said, they were more independent, I guess, like just kind of away from mainstream media, well, to me anyway. So now I'm playing catch up. But anyway, yeah, this is, uh, once again, though, like I said this with uh, Bjork, you know, because that song I listened to her with was Army and Me, and that to me had like a rock industrial kind of vibe, not heavy, but... You know, that electronic, uh, rockish vibe going on, uh, which is familiar to me. Um, tattoo, kind of, it. you know, I could definitely hear guitar in the background. Um, this is definitely more pop, for sure, you know. But there's a, you know, there's a tone, there's like an underlining tone there of like, um, I don't know, it's just different, you know. I think this is, that that's that uh, kind of feeling that made them stand out, I guess. Um, because once again, like, in this era, you had pop groups, R&B, rap artists just flooding the scene, so it was wise to be a little different, you know, whether it's how you dressed, how you did your songs, or how you presented yourself, and I think that was, like, the, you know, I mean, the, for all intents and purposes, you know, they were who they are, and, uh, you know, that's was the driving point, you know. Not saying they use it as a gimmick, but, you know... You have to have that kind of hook, line, and sinker to get that audience to, you know, that light to switch on their head and be like, oh, okay, so they're doing this. Interesting. You know, and there you go. You know? But, um, yeah, yeah. Not a bad song, really. I don't know why I didn't gravitate to, well, I mean, obviously, but, um, you know, I was in my own little world back then. But, uh, I mean, not not too bad, really. I mean, it's not, you know, I, I would probably have more trouble connecting with, you know, Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera than I do with Tattoo here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep going here.
you know that I think about it I think uh, there was a still captured that was a poster um, like I said it was either them on a bed or it looked kind of like this so I'm wondering if that's what's you know um, kind of coming to me memory right now um, I imagine they were very controversial back then um, I don't think you know it takes a genius to figure that out obviously you know um, anything out of the ordinary that didn't fit in with society you know the adults talked about it and criticized it and you know saying it was corrupting youth we have a lot more issues now obviously um, and it has nothing to do with music music is a form of expression and you either get it or you don't you know and um, that's that's the gist of it uh, this is definitely that's the, that's the kind of vibes I'm getting here and uh, I'm I like it like I said you, you got something to say you know you put it out in the lyrics you turn those lyrics into a video and you get this you know so I, I, I appreciate that I like that because um, at the end of the day you're the creative expressionist you know you're the artist you know you're using that paintbrush they're using their song to say you know here this is what we have to say check it out you know uh, zero fucks given you know um but yeah yeah catchy songs i gotta say i uh, i'm almost certain this was probably um you know when you're you know scanning the radio for that song this was definitely in passing because the uh, there's a, like i said there's a something in there that's taking me back it's very familiar you know like i said i might have heard this one or a previous one in passing but um yeah the, like, like the, the hook of the song the chorus it's, it's catchy so i see why this you know was probably on the charts at some point you know i don't know but um or played on the radio at least you know um you know, maybe i caught the video a brief snippet of it on mtv at some point, I don't know. I couldn't really tell you, but I, I feel like this is something that would have been in that rotation, you know, or maybe not, you know. They're, you know, they're weird back in the day, you know, on what they censored and what they put out, but I don't know. I think uh, musicians shouldn't be censored. If they got a message to say, let them say it, you know. It's not like they're throwing rocks at people's houses, right? Anyway, um, catchy song. I like the, the tone, the subject matter, uh, and, and the video is very in your face. I like that. You know, it has, a, has an attitude, a grit to it, which is, um, you know, pretty important. And I see that mirrored a lot today. Um, all right. Well, let's keep going here. was very interesting and uh yeah i mean I, I i totally get it i see why people would definitely grab it the same reason why people would gravitate to like you know marilyn manson or you know ozzy you know or you know the, the countless you know rappers back in the day um because you know it's good to be a little controversial it is i think it's healthy you know um but that's besides the point. Them as an artist, um, I really hope they're going on today. Uh, you know, obviously you, you know, with age, you know, you get wiser and you uh, you 
home into your craft. You fine tune it. You know, you listen to the first album of an artist compared to the most recent release, and there's usually a difference there. Not maybe not 100 percent, but you see how they kind of, well, like I said, tune their craft. You know, um, so that'd be interesting to know if they're you know still at it. Uh, if you guys, whoever's listening to this, are fans of Tattoo, let me know. Uh, yeah, what's the deal? Are they still going strong? Still touring? I'm interested. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was a deep song. You know, uh, they had a message. They said it. And the video kind of, you know, laid it out on the table for you. Like, here we are. You know? So I appreciate that. Definitely, you know, that's, you know, that's cool. That's exactly what I expected. Um, I had a nice... It sounds very familiar and it don't at the same time. Um, uh, but anyway, catchy song. I definitely see why it's, you know, it's you know popular or was popular at the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. And um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I imagine they're probably famous and, you know, popular on both sides of the coast. Probably, obviously, you got their start in Europe and, you know, in Russia and all that. Uh, and just kind of trickled down to the states, so that you know that says a lot, right? I mean, when you could, you know, really take off on two different continents, that that tells you something, right there. Um, and that's what they did. So, um, yeah, yeah, interesting song, and uh, like I said, very, very catchy. You know, that 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 chorus, that hook, um, and their voice, like they kind of bounced off each other. I like that. You know, um, I mean, a single artist could do wonders with their voice, but when you're, when you have someone else there to just, you know, kind of do a callback, you know, and share, you know, vocal lines and courses and, you know, uh, verses, I think that adds more layers and definitely, uh, you know, makes the song stand out from the rest. But yeah, there you go. There you have it, guys. That's my two cents for a uh, tattoo. All the things she said. Um, yeah catchy song uh, like I said would it be in my playlist I mean probably not but I definitely appreciate um you know hearing this you know like I said this was in an era where I was growing up and uh I definitely see the importance of it and um you know like I said it's you know it's one of those one of those songs at that time like you know right place right time um, alright guys, well, well if you made it this far in the video, thank you. If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always my friends, I will see you all very, very soon. Peace.